Okay. Um, and she's not really uh, getting out of the way. We tried to move her off to both sides and she's got a calf with her. So she was being a little bit aggressive. Um, she charged at me and she charged at one of the other guys. Trailhead for Granite Hot Springs. Gonna ride my fat bike, hopefully to the top of the road to get to the springs. A little colder than I was hoping for to start this morning. You can see that my temperature gauge said negative two. Hoping that that warms up a little bit on my way up the trail. Um, but this is my first time doing this, never been up here before. So we'll see how it turns out. Expected, but hopefully as I move warm up and I don't know there might be a little bit of inversion it might be a little warmer the higher up I get no idea what to expect as far as the trail goes pretty compact and solid which is good and I don't know how much of a climb there is or anything like that Yes, we keep going this way. I'd like to come see what this creek looks like in the spring and the summer. Wonder if it's any good for kayaking. Just at two miles in, even though we started with a negative two degree Fahrenheit temperature, I'm starting to warm up. I'm gonna stop here and ditch the down vest. It's a little bit of overkill right now. So far, it's been pretty quiet, although snow machines are still back in the parking lot. So I'm sure here in a little bit they'll be soaring past me but for now oh I hear him coming not quite anymore <laughs> Tell, but I am steaming. All right, let's get back at it. That feels better.
starting to become a super highway of snow machines. So far it's been like a gradual uphill climb, but I feel like we're getting a little bit of some rollers here, a little bit of downhill. Not too bad, pretty doable. Averaging probably about, I don't know, five miles an hour. It takes me about 10 minutes to go one mile. Was that six miles an hour, I guess? Didn't know you were getting a math lesson, did you? So I'm about 3.4 miles in. Looks like there. It's a little bit of a climb right here. So that was about a quarter of a mile climb. <sighs> Definitely a little bit of work. Hopefully there's not too many more of those. These mountains out here are just gorgeous. Coming around this corner, see all that snow surrounded by all those clouds. It's like Bob Ross in real life. Finally got warm enough to take the gloves off. tried to move her off to both sides and she's got a calf with her so she was being a little bit aggressive um, she charged at me and she charged at one of the other guides too so uh, we kind of both just backed out of there we're trying to give her some time to meet back up with her calf and, and kind of get out of there so This uh, other sled go in front of me. See if they uh, handle the moose okay. Hopefully, it's not in the way anymore. But I guess if I get attacked, I'll try to get some good footage of it. Yeah, moose can be pretty darn mean, actually. They're big creatures and uh, pretty protective of their young. separate them not good so we'll proceed with caution see what happens people stopped up here got the moose siding or what guess we'll find out Coming this way. Yeah. We'll give her some breathing room. Probably yeah. Badass. We're gonna rent a fat bike soon. Cool. <laughs> Did you get here? They said. Uh, yeah, about the moose. Yeah. yeah. You guys just gonna chill here for a minute, or? Um, they said to turn around because we're still coming down the trail, and she's with her calf. Great. Yeah. yeah do you want to ride and leave your bike? Well, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, because we've got two seaters.
walk right by. All right, I was pretty close, so I'm not sure the moose knew I was here. Maybe the calf kind of looked at me a little bit, but uh, those snowmobilers didn't even know I was here either. So looks like I'm good to go. I'm going to get back on the trail. If I can get out of this super deep snow, I'm up to my hip. Then we'll make to the hot springs. I'm about eight miles in, got past the moose. Should be a pretty clear shot to the hot springs from here, I'm hoping. Then the challenge, hopefully they're not around on the way home. That'd be just as bad. That's a beautiful little waterfall off to the right. It's pretty cool. So there's a nice changing room once you get up to the hot springs. So I'll change into my suit and then go test the water. All right, here we go. First things first. I feel like it's a total cheese bag on the snow machine. I'm like, a normally exercise guy. It's not, it's not a bad ride, really. Oh. So, Dude, that was awesome. There's only a couple of like Trump Trump steep Trump spots Trump. that you had to kind of got the old kicker going, but other than that, it's How pretty smooth. Two hours? Uh, probably a little under two hours. 
Probably, probably only taking me about an hour and a half, hour 40 without the moose. Maybe two hours with the moose. It's pretty cool, man. The, the mittens on the thing. And, yeah, so, but this is uh, my first time coming up here. I was going to do it last spring, and then uh, COVID hit. Yeah. Everything started shutting down. Where, where was the last place that we were? We were in COVID. Mm -hmm. was March 19th. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, the day before I was planning to come, they shut this down and said, oh, we're closed. I'm like, dang it, there's yeah. no place to go. Yeah, we were here like one of the last days it was open. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, because so they shut but, the mountain. Because we came here because they we shut got, the mountain, so we came here. We got here. one day. We got yeah. Saturday. And, and then we got shut down. No, we had Saturday, and then we had Snow King, yeah. and then we booked the thing, and then we went back to Hawaii. I'm headed back down to my car. So just as I was leaving, there was a, a large group of snowmobilers that came up. And so they said the moose eventually ran off the road. So I'm hoping that once I get down to that part, it's not going to be an issue. And I should have smooth sailing all the way back down. Nine miles. Here we go. Looks like they finally got off the trail. There's a couple of people on snowmobiles harassing them. You want to think they learned a little bit about moose, but maybe not. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll get some footage of them attacking. Looks like they got them cornered, so I don't know if they're trying to get him going down another trail. Yeah, she's charging a little bit. That's one way to get up the hill. Overall, that was a pretty fun trip. I would say that trail is not really difficult. Uh, I think I gauged just under 10 miles, so between nine and 10 miles to get from the parking lot up to the hot springs. So about 18 miles round trip, 18 or 19. Um, yeah, I think you picked the right day with the right conditions and it's pretty fun. Uh, other than the moose getting in the way today and taking up a little bit of time, I, it was a pretty smooth ride. Uh, the snowmobilers were pretty courteous. Um, I, you know, I'm here on, in the middle of the week, it's Wednesday, so wasn't a ton of people there. I imagine if you showed up on a weekend, it would be like a zoo, but uh, today really wasn't too bad. And beautiful day, beautiful weather. Scenery was gorgeous, couldn't ask for a better ride. <laughs>